guys, how's it going? Um, today I have a really fun fall tutorial for you and I am using my Morphe Brushes 350 palette and I talked about this in my last video but those are all the colors and I'm going to be using these brushes from Morphe show you guys what I got here so these are going to be all the brushes I'm going to be using in this tutorial and like always my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm also going to be using my Maybelline The Falsies I really like this mascara for a drugstore and I like these two together. And then these are what I'm using for my lips. Show you guys there. Um, NYX Natural and I Lancome and this is 250. It doesn't really have a color, but there's that. It's a very like natural color. Perfect. So that is all we're going to be using in this tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and let's get started. So first thing I did is I already primed my eyes and done my eyebrows and my foundation and powder and everything just to save time. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe 350 palette, and I'm going to be taking that really, it's like a really soft, almost yellowish orange color. It's really like a pumpkin spice latte color, I like to call it. It's my inspiration. I actually had my first pumpkin spice latte before I filmed this video, so I was really inspired by the color. It's a really, like, kind of, if you ever focus on the color of the pumpkin spice latte, this is the color that I think it looks like. Just if you want to look at that next time. But I'm just going to be taking my Morphe blending brush and just going back and forth, sort of windshield wiper motion along the crease of my eye. And this is going to sort of just make it, just make the colors blend a little better. This is going to be, what's it called? my transition color and this look. So I'm just going to put that around all the way up to the teardrop of the eye and back and forth. So next I'm going to be taking, it's going to be the color right next to it, so it's sort of a soft warm brown. And I'm going to take this really fat, flat creasing brush. I'm going to go really softly up and down my crease. It's going to sort of help blend it out but not leave it so dark because I want to mostly focus the darkness on this sort of like this red color I'm going to show you guys later but it's going to be very very soft it's going to just really like make the crease show so next I'm going to take more of a very fine creasing brush and in the very top right hand corner of that palette is a really bright red and I'm just going to take that very softly against kind of like pressing down like you see right there, just kind of going back and forth but against my lid of my eye and it's going to just really make it pop and really soften out and really show my crease. So this is what I'm going to be doing because it's a very bold color so I don't want it to be like above my crease like on my brow bone, I want it to be more reflective down. With this step, it does take a little bit of time because I do want both of this is a really bright color, so I really want to make sure it's very um, precise and well blended out and matching the other side very evenly. So I'm going to be taking a very thick um, blending creasing brush duo thing, and I'm just going to go back and forth and blend the red out, and I'm going to try to make it symmetrical to the other eyes, so that's why I keep comparing the two of them. And so just do that until your desired red or orange, whatever color you consider that's like a bloody orange. And just do that until both the colors are completely what you want. So next, in that very top left hand corner of that palette is a bright white. And this is going to be the whitest color in that entire palette. And I'm just going to go along my brows like I normally do. I do this in every single video. So it's nothing new. You can take any white and just go along and it's going to just pop out your brows. Using the white still, we're going to go on the teardrop of the eye and along the top part of the brow as well. And it's going to just help highlight and contour the face. We're almost done, so probably one of the last few steps. We're going to be taking that very first color that we took in the beginning, that very, what I said, that pumpkin spice latte yellow, and I'm going to be putting that along the lids of my eyes, and I just really love everything. It just kind of reminds me of very fallsy, it's really warm, it's just, it's honestly, it's perfect for October. I love this look. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to be taking a sort of soft brown and it's going to go along the crease of my eye and this is just to bring out my crease and just make it pop like how we usually would do with the crease. And just going to go back and forth again, windshield wipers motion and just making sure everything is symmetrical, blended out and everything looks good. Taking a smudger brush, I'm going to be taking that same color that we put on that lid, again, the pumpkin spice latte color, and I'm just going to be going along the bottom of my lashes with this, and this is going to be just, you know how you usually see the, the bright lid and then the bright bottom lid lash color? That is exactly what we're doing right here. So just going along there and just putting that sort of that yellowish brown right along the bottom. We are all completed now with the eyeshadow portion of this look and I'm just going to be doing a very nice wing sharp top liner right now. I'm using my Maybelline Eye Studio and then I'm going to be using my Better Than Sex by Too Faced mascara and the Maybelline Falsies mascara as well. Those two together are literally like a dream. I love them. So I'm going to speed through my eyeliner process and mascara and that is basically the completed look.